Hello humans, this is Ranav Visage and welcome to the Ranav channel. Today we're going to be giving my opinions on the manga and the anime of To Love Ru. So this is your average harem show. Or is it? It's a weird one. Like it's really, it's really out of the way I guess. At the same time it follows every single cliche. Most of your harem shows generally have this badass main character that gets the bitches. But this one is nothing like that. It's a show about a boy who is betrothed to an alien chick while trying to confess his love to a classmate of his that he likes. It's a weird one. So unlike normal harem shows, the protagonist is not a badass. Gets an unnecessarily erotic situation that go nowhere. Just, you know, fan service. It's like some shows have it, but this show is just like, it's just revolves around it. There's nothing more to the show. If you just remove that bit of the main character being, you know, inclined to fall over in, uh, and into precarious situations with girls, it pretty much there's nothing left to the show, honestly. Uh, there's a little bit of here and there. Uh, and believe me, there's a lot of fan service. Pretty much that is the entire show, but the comedy they extract from the situation is awesome. Uh, I will say it is a funny show because some of the scenes I was like laughing my fucking ass off because they were that funny. Um, I believe that the show has probably the biggest harem uh, that, that you, could, you guys would probably find some show with like a hundred women to the main character's name. But like f as far as I have seen, I have not seen another show with a bigger harem than this guy. It's like 20 women uh, probably give or take. So yeah, we can debate on that, I guess. Uh, so if I were to divide the show, it would be like nine parts out, nine parts out of ten, uh, 10 comedy and fan service. And one part is like plot and like emotional emotional quandary or like anything worth using your brain over. Actually, no, even then you don't have to use your brain. There's pretty much no use for brain usage. It's just like um, plot because how do you stitch sexual scenes together? One part of that and nine parts of just comedy and fan service. Uh, which uh, the comedy is fine, but the fan service t tends to get repetitive after like three seasons <laughs> i think there's like four seasons of the show i've watched all of them i've even read the manga as i'm making a review of it right now um the multiple seasons of the show that i watched last year or like last to last year i believe recently however i decided to check out its manga as i did not believe that they would make another season which they should not actually because they would probably fail badly uh, i mean i would watch it still you know, considering i just like to finish up everything that i've started usually um the only show I think I've ever dropped um, was the Snow White with the red hair. Is I I started it because I uh, heard about it and I was like that's fancy name, but apparently it was just uh, like a shojo show and this like got so fucking boring. I don't know if I watched like one season. Yeah, I think I watched one season and then I was like, bruh, fuck that, I can't watch this. Um, anyway, um, so I checked out its manga. And it was pretty much the same as the show comedy and achieve with the same gags repeated again and again. And the manga just ends like the end of the whole show, including the anime and manga is not open ended or sad ended or like complex secret ending or something. It just ends abruptly in the middle of it. Like there's nothing. It just ends. The plot of the show will be equivalent to like A ate an apple and B ate a banana then C stole a banana from B and B went to eat apples with A and the same process gets repeated over and over again and then one day A looks at the sky and that's the end of the show. You understand what I'm trying to get to? The, there's no conclusion to the manga. There, there's no uh, plot points getting stitched together. It's just it's just a mess of like short stories it feels like they're just put together with a main character in the middle of it and just goes nowhere just ends absurdly uh, abruptly and <laughs> at least while your whole show is about like etchy and erotic stuff at least make that work properly but no why would they most of the show is censored with like bright flashes of light like i think the first season and like scenes here and there were like there's no censorship and uh, you can see like the naked like bare breasts of some girls and uh, most of the show is just like like mist or like a flash of light coming in or like long hair covering up the front or the bottom or something like that it's it's like really just like pushing it it's like something is always pushing something in front of the nipples it's always that uh, it's just it just fails to be what it's supposed to be an edgy show 
also for erotic show they the main character like kisses like once or twice and even that probably my mind is making that up itself like i don't remember him actually kissing even once like i think yeah, i think there was like one or two kisses here and there and those were two like more like i fell down and we kissed or something like that i don't even remember anything um but like worth a proper kiss unlike like campione or oh, that show is got some good kisses though i think i made a, a anime opinion on that as well i don't remember but that that is a great show uh, anyway so they fail to do that so the one thing they want to do is etchi and they fail to do that the plot is non existent the etchi gets repet- repetitive and it's censored and uh, there were there were some funny scenes though you know the whole whole show holds up in my mind because the show is funny at s- to some extent but it's trying to maintain its pg13 rating so it just it just fails to do what it's supposed to be in a completely erotic show but despite all that i would certainly recommend the show you know uh, you can watch it if you have free time to just get some gags and some funny encounters here and there um anyway thank you so much for watching there's a link in the description to my Uh Twitter there is also a link to my Patreon you can check that shit out bye bye